Okay, guys, let's get started. If anybody comes in uh, after we, you know, here in a little bit, we'll just let them in as we get there. I know coaches like to be on time. So I'm Charlie Corner. Uh, I'm the owner of First Down Playbook. I'm also a 30-year coach. And uh, what I what my goal is tonight is to uh, maybe take you through a little bit. I don't know who we've got on here as far as like, if you're a current coach or if you're someone who uh, is interested in it. But we'll get your questions answered. I'm going to hit on a couple of things here real quick. Uh, I will say this. There's a lot in First Down Playbook. It can help you a, a ton. But it's like anything else. You know, there's a little bit of a learning curve uh, as you're going through it. And so that's what I hope to, you know, get to tonight. Um, let me get rid of this thing here. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do, if you can, is um, write down our phone number. I mean, it's going to be on here. You can go to help section. But. Write down 512-814-6158. The reason I'm having you do that, I mean, we pride ourselves on our, you know, our customer service. It's fine as far as being there for coaches. And we get to the season, I'm talking seven days a week. We understand if you're getting ready for a game on a Saturday or, or, or a Friday or whatever, that somebody you know needs to be there for you. We may not pick the phone up, but we'll call you right back. And, and that's, a, that's not just BS, it's a policy. And also our email, you can find that in the help section as well, but info at firstdownapp.com, uh, same email that you probably got this invite from, is somewhere that you can, can reach out to us. All right, the one thing I want to show you that's new before we do anything else, uh, and right now it's the video library. You've got the ability now, all right, to come in and you can upload uh, your huddle, uh, whatever, to an MP4, and you can store it in here. I just want to make the point that at First Down Playbook, you know, we're not trying to get into the, not trying to get into the video business, not trying to get into um, anything about exchange, anything about uh, recruiting. We're trying to help you teach from a standpoint of where you can put a clip in here, and then when you go into, uh, if you go into your play library, you can attach that. And then you're going to have both right there side by side where you can teach. Um, probably got a big project going in here. I've got to find it first. Here it is right here. So let's say I were installing this play right here. And I'm just going to open it up. Show the video. Now I've got the ability when I'm install installing that I can come in here. I can talk about the play, drawing, talk about the play. I can... Had the video, talk full screen to my offensive line. This example we got here, I can show the video. I can look at the video full screen, all right? And I can toggle back and forth. So once again, our goal is to help coaches teach. So that's what the video pairing thing's all about. We will have a an app out for your players uh, sometime uh, early summer to mid-summer. You'll have it definitely ready by the time you go to camp. Um, so those are the, the new things. Now, bef before I get started here, because I don't know who's on here, uh, is there anyone that's here that knows a lot about First Down Playbook that's here just for one specific question? Because I don't want to hold you up. If, if, if you're interested in the full spiel, I'm going to take you right down and show you how to use everything. But if, if we got somebody on here that's a current uh, coach, that's a customer, let me know what your question is right now. Yeah, Coach, can you hear me? I can. Yeah. Um, so so we have a couple. Am I echoing? Sorry. Yeah, you're echoing a little bit there, Coach. All right. So we got a couple of um, iPads here that we, we, we use that for film, and we have them down on, on the field. When you're talking about with that app, would that be something that would be available, like on the iPad or something, so I could have this, pretty much what you're showing me right here, out there on the field? Absolutely. What the way the way we're envisioning the app is, uh, it's not going to be something that you're going to take. Uh, and to be honest, with you, in the early stages, it's good to hear what you need right now, so that we can take it to the developers and make sure they hear that. And this is uh, this is being recorded, guys. By the way, too, um, purely because I don't have a good memory, and I want to make sure that we can get this to our developers. But the way I understand it, we have an, a, another person on here that works closer with development than me. That. You know, anything particularly in your in your playbook, you will be able to get to the players and to the coaches. So, yeah, as long as your rules allow that, you would be able to go to the sideline, show this right here and go, guys, this is the quarterback counter. We talked about 
you know, you get a shade to the strong side, you got blocked down, you know, and that kind of thing. And then um, I don't know if you can show the play or not. Everybody has different rules, but as far as the technology side of it, yes, you'll be able to do this and take it on an iPad on the sideline. Uh, hi, Coach. My name is Kendall. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of First Down Playbook. Um, to further on that, currently on an iPad, you can do what you're looking at on screen right now. Um, we don't encourage smaller than an iPad, like a phone or anything, to draw plays um, or anything like that. But if you're just viewing a play, especially next to a video, you can still do this right now. Yeah, the, the difference, Coach, would be if everybody's got a different Wi-Fi when you get down on the field. The, dif the difference will be that when we get the app, you won't have to deal with that at all. Sure, yeah, you need. absolutely need Wi-Fi now. Um, and Charlie, real quick, can you allow Anthony Harris, Joseph, and Rhett to uh, to talk there? Absolutely. Let me. Any other questions on on the iPad or anything like that? Okay, you guys that just came in. You guys that just came in, just letting you know that we're operating this all on. Uh, just yell your question out. Don't don't type anything in. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we just answer questions here to start with. Coach, any other questions? Right, no, guys. that's great. Thank all you, right, guys. Just jump in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you. I just came from a clinic this weekend. You know, where guy, you know, speaker got up and, and BS for 15 minutes before they talked about anything. So I'm gonna try not to be that guy. On the left hand side over here, all right, this is where you're going to live to start with. And and you know, when you go to find a play in first down playbook, and I encourage you to spend some time in here uh, because guys of over 35,000 plays, there's a lot of stuff in here. The the thing that we always encourage coaches to do and it's going to run a little slower just because of the zoom tonight but the thing we always encourage coaches to do is start broader with your search and narrow you know uh, i get it all the time like we run a four two five but we want a three three stack well guys if you you know if you if you run a four three and they come out in a two by two we're going to line that nickel up there just like a four two five would and we actually do have the four two five in here against some things so as you're going into looking at looking for things just be pretty broad about what you're going to look for. Understand that the way we do it, youth is 12 and below, varsity is 13 and above. That is subjective. There are older 12-year-olds and younger 13-year-olds. But for the most part, you guys are going to be, uh, the, the people I think are in here will be varsity. We've got all different uh, numbers, 11 to 11. But if I go in, the thing to know, and on offense right here, we are, don't, don't just go in and look at one thing and you'll forget to come back. If you were to come in, for instance, I'm just going to go passing game to start with. There is so much detail in here that it's broken down by boots and nakeds. If you want to go in and find dagger concepts, uh, you know, drive, shallow cross, they're all broken up down in here that way. You also have the ability to come in and find um, by the coverage. If you, if you know you're going to play cover one or, or two deep the whole game or quarters, you know, we, that's subjective to some degree, but we got them in there that way. Drop back is pretty much when you click on that, you will come over here and find your formation. Two by two, three by one bunch. Play action is common sense. Broken up the same way that drop back is. Quick game is just like drop back play action. Red zone, we break it up into, you know, four different areas right here. So if you go here and search plays, we're going to give you plays that we think are good in the passing game in that part of the red zone. That's how specific it is. And once again, when you open these up, you're going to find a quarterback read and you're going to find player assignments. Do we have all the answers? Absolutely not. But we're going to tell you how we would read it. You can come in and you can edit the play. You can edit the coaching notes. So if you go back in to, to find a play, you can come down. We have route trees, screens. We do our screens, guys, just like we do runs. We actually draw up a front in the run. We don't for the passing game. We do it exactly the way we did it in the NFL. We feel like if you get too many defenders on the passing game stuff, it just it boggles the quarterbacks, you know, read and all that. But when we do screens, we actually draw it up against five different fronts because we think that the, the offensive line is probably the biggest part about the screens. So you can see just how many pages of different types of screens we got in here. Bubble, hitch, jailbreak, on and on and on. And then – uh, sprint pass trick plays so that's just the passing game if you want the running game it's kind of 
the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to go, all right, let's run the power. All right. Now, what, you know, 9,000 different ways to run the power. They're running the power out of, you know, quarterback power out of empty these days. But I'll just come in and get, um, I don't know, I'll go two by two and search for plays. Now, I could come over here. I could choose the front that I want to run it against as well. But I'll search plays over here. And so I've got 35 different ways of running the power out of two by two only now if we there there are four to five hundred different power plays in here if you get to two back and, and all that the thing to understand about what we do though and i'm going to show you this uh quarterback what we call quarterback power read it gets into the detail of it we're not trying to coach your team but when you come in not only do you have the notes over here but you also if you come up here, and some of them don't have this, but you'll have the play always drawn up against an over, an under, a three, four, and a bear. And we'll have it open and close just because some, some plays you can run versus open. Some plays you might check out of versus closed. But this is an RPO. Probably you let it eat probably both ways. But you can see this is a four, three. If I wanted to look at it versus a three, four with the middle field closed, there it is. All right. I've got the ability now to come in. All right. Once again, we're coaching a little bit. You can flip it, run it either way. You can download it, print it out, whatever you want to do. All right. So once again, spend my, my advice to you would be spend some time up in here because rather it's and I'm just on the offense right now. You know, there's protections in here. There's passing plays in here. There's short yards goal line. When you get to the defense, there's base there's uh you know i'll just show you we got all the base but if you come in and you want to see how to bring you know different ways to bring pressure all right if you come in and go pressures what what we asked you well hold on let me let me clear all my filters if i come in and i'm on defense and i'm just looking for you know pressures that are drawn up and also against different fronts. We asked you who you want to bring. So you want to bring your corner, you know, if it, or your three, four, we call our fourth linebacker Jack. If you're a four, three, then, you know, it's common sense, Sam, Mike, Will. But if I want to get Will pressures and I can get them against my, you know, the, the formation I want, but I'll come in and you're going to see that all these pressures that we got right here, 86 of them, all right, you're going to have, the will involved. Now, this right here is a check where the corner's coming to, but the will, the will should be coming on all these pressures. And so, once again, you got your coaching notes. You can edit it, flip it, and whatnot. And then the final thing I'll, I'll say to you is this. You know, the, the thing that always gets neglected, and I'm a special teams guy, you know, but you, you want to make sure that you get into the special teams area, right, because we've got eight different phases in here. Uh, we have to do, we had NFL coaches, so we do, you know, NFL punt and their punt return as well. But there is a ton of help saving you time right here into the special team. We break them all up by scheme, specials, which are, you know, fakes and things like that and technique. Now, you know, at some point, guys, what you're going to do is you, you're going to come in. All right, if you take a play, and I'm going to take a play right here, I'm going to find a play. All right, let's just go and find a special team play whatever comes up here. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this middle leaper for PAT field goal block. All right, the moment I've got this play right here, and I've got the notes and the whole bit, how, you know, how I would coach all 11 people here. At the moment I hit this edit button, this is no longer a first down playbook play. This is now your play, and it's going to show up in your play library. So whatever you do to it, it you know, that you can come up here, you can name it, whatever you want to. And it's important what you name it because your search bar engine, that their search engine that you can find plays in the first down playbook, find a play, you will be able to find them in your play library by what you name them. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to come in here and go, okay, our kicker, or the kicker we're going to play this week is left footed. All right, and I'm going to save it. Now, the moment you save that, now you can come in and edit the coaching points as well. And you can see all the different things. You, know, you, have, you have the best drawing tool available, all right, as far as the editing part goes. But when you save that, guys, you come back, everything's going to save up over here in your play library. 
Now you're going to, you know, but at some point what's going to happen, right? You're going to get a ton of plays in your play library, all right? Which that's all right. Consider it your holding bin. Not a very efficient way to coach. You know, you can't, you know, it'd be like going into a playbook and your PAT field goal was mixed up with your passes, was mixed up with your blitzes. So that's where the team playbooks come in. All right, so team playbooks, there's two types. Very simple. You've got one one play per card, all right? We call it play card playbooks. Most of the time for coaches at the high school, college, or NFL level, use for your practice cards. So I'm just going to open up this 707 playbook right here. And you're going to see where there's, you know, we got about 10 cards in here. Say this where your, your scout team for your, you know, against your, your secondary. Now I'm going to point this out. If you were to come in here, you can actually choose a script. You can put in the down and distance and I'll show you how that's applicable here in a second. But if you go through and save all that, you'll have a script that points out that prints out, excuse me, at the end of this. All right, so I'm going to go over here right now to show you if I were to want to print these cards out or take them to the field on an iPad, coach, or a tablet like you're talking about. But if I were to come in, I go, all right, I want one box. And I would go, all right, I want my script info. All right, I don't want the, I don't want, I want the, I don't want the summary page for this right here. All right, and I don't want the notes because I'm going to the field. But if I go print, What you're going to have is a cover sheet, right? You've got, I, you can see where I, I took that one play and I, I didn't put any stuff in it, but it could come out that way. I'll show you more later. But you've got a script and you've got your cards well drawn. And guys, the big thing about this is you can save them. I mean, they don't get, you know, if they, if they do get rained on, you don't, you know, you've got them to come back in and you can just make a copy of that set of cards or you can take the tablet out however you want to do it. All right, but you're also now your team playbooks. The other thing that you can do is you can come in here and you can print or create, I should say, the good old fashioned two, four, six, eight box deal where you know you're coming in and I'm gonna open up this playbook right here. All right, I can get a two box, put my coaching notes in, I'll open it up so you can kind of see how that works. And I can add an eight box in behind. You know, I can, I can actually print my playbook out this way. So I've got, all right, we're going to play this 4-3 over. This is how we're going to line up against Bunch and Pro. All right, here's all the rules. All right, just, you know, just exactly how you would do a playbook. And then I can also come back and follow up with some of the other formations that they might run with my eight box over here. So the way you would do this, you would just come in and, and create, you know, just create a new play grid or you can duplicate whatnot. So that, that's your playbook area. Now, guys, create a play. It's just pretty common sense. You click on create a play. You're going to name it, whatever you want to name it. You can, but you can choose a short field or a long field. Long field is traditionally for special teams, punt, kickoff, or, you know, something like that. Most of you guys are in high school in here or some of you might be in college. You can choose your field. You can choose coming out, red zone. I'll choose a red zone field right here. Create a play. All right, so now I'm ready to go. Now I'm just adding players. Now I want to point something out to you while I'm here. All right, you have the ability to come in, create stencils and templates, you know, so you don't have to keep drawing your formations over. You'll, you'll find that we've got formations without plays in here that'll help you right off the bat. You don't even have to do this part. But if you come in and create an area right here to where this, these are your formations and you've got it all good to go, when you want to start to draw your formations, just click on it. Boom, my formation is off and running. I don't have to, you know, you could even click, have another one defenses and pop a 4-3 or a 3-4 right on top of that. So that over here is where your templates and stencils, and you also have got the ability to create temples and stencils, templates and stencils with your uh, coaching notes as well. That's pretty straightforward, just come in and create a box and you're off and running. All right, so that that's your playbook area. Any questions, guys? Yell at, yell at me. I mean, when I get going about first down playbook, I know I get going, but um, but feel free to yell at me. Now- hey Charlie, uh, there's, there's two more coaches that uh, you can allow to talk in case they have some questions. Okay. 
I'm better at first down playbook than I am Zoom, guys. I'm just telling you right now. So. All right, Jim and Thomas, you're good to talk now. I know you got yourself muted, but feel free to yell at me if you got a question. All right, now, uh, I, sh I showed you about the video library and, and how to do that. Some new tools that we've, we've added. I just showed you the templates and stem stencils. All right, this is really just a kind of an, where, we, where you actually uh, house them, kind of like the uh, play library. But the way you use them is you want to go to them as you're drawing a play or as you're editing a play. All right. Now, practice schedules, you know, just good old fashioned common sense guys, right? Um, just a place where you can uh, have practice schedules. I don't even have any, I, I, I do want our admin, but let me, let me go in. If you create a new one, Charlie, there's a. Yeah, I'm looking, there you go. So up here, I can come in and just, we've got a template or two in there for you. You can come in and edit that if you want to, save it. You obviously could put defense in and then put special teams or whatever. You can create your special teams, excuse me, your practice schedules right here. Practice scripts is what I was going to show you, what I was showing you, I only did the one play. If I had taken time for all 10 of those cards, I could have went in and, and put that information in. And what it would do is when I printed those cards out, the, the cover sheet would have you know, would have your script. So all the coaches would have the script, the special teams, Cooper and the special teams guy would have the uh, script and he would also have the cards. And then your text wristbands are right here. You know, most guys are going fast these days or a lot of people are anyway, if you want to call it from the sideline. And these are the, the text wristbands to where it kind of works just the same way the practice schedules do. You come in, you can add it. You know, you can, you can get as many on here as you want. You can be as, um, you know, you can be as efficient with this as you want, but there's only so much real estate on a, on an elbow or a forum, I should say. All right. Now, the only other things I've got in here that I think sometimes are overlooked, um, but I think are important as far as teaching goes, like take this right here, this display that, you know, we were, so I'm going to open this play up right here. Let's say we were an offensive line coach and I hit the edit button here. If I want to, if I want to zoom in, it's also very helpful when you're drawing because you know drawing can get tedious. But this up here, we call it lineman view. Because I can I can blow this thing up, you know, about the way I want to. 250 is really kind of for a drill, probably. 200, you know, if you want to do just your inside guys. But you can actually, if I wanted to. I can actually edit this thing here and save it. I can make a copy of it so you could have like the, the big picture view. All right. But then I could have a, a zoomed in view. Whoops. When I go back to my play library, you'll see that my offensive lineman, my defensive offensive line coach, my defensive line coach, you know, they can have their version of it, or they might just want to, you know, draw their stuff that way. Um, the stuff that uh, Kendall is a little bit better at than I am, you know, some of you may have questions like, how do I get my whole team going organizational-wise? But it's all up here in my account. Think about it this way. All right. The, the thing we've tried intentionally is to set this up a lot like some of the tools you're already using. And, and obviously, Huddle is one of those for a lot of you. But if you come in, you know, with my teams, you know, we try to be pretty straightforward with it. Manage a team right here. What you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you, you know, you edit your team, what you want to call it, but you manage your team members. You'll be able to come in and invite them. Invite team members. You can choose whether they're a manager, a coach, or a player. You know, you can just put an Excel spreadsheet in here, right, Kendall? You would just copy, yep. Copy an Excel document and paste it right in there of the emails. Right. So you put, but the, the the essentially the way it works is this, you know, your your owner is your owner. That's that's really whoever essentially pays for it. Kind of the, you know, the top dog. Managers are people that have the ability to come in and they can pretty much uh, not only uh, edit whatever's in here, they can also uh, they can also give permission to somebody else 
to, to be a manager, coach, or player. A coach is designated as a coach, somebody that uh, could maybe edit everything or just edit the, the areas that you give them access to. And a player, uh, we don't give them access to uh, edit anything for obvious reasons. Now, the, the other part up here, manage team groups. So you can come in, you know, get your quarterback room, your tight end room, your offensive line room, the common sense way that you know, a lot of people break teams down. If I've got youth coaches on here, and I, I may or I may not, I don't know, but you could break it down by individual teams, and, and team A couldn't see what team B is doing. You can do all of that right inside here with a team account. And then the last thing, because it was a question that I would have, is that if I create a playbook, the way it works is this. If I'm going to come in, I'm going to create a new playbook. And we'll name this playbook whatever. All right. In the first section, and we'll call this. All right. Down here, all right, we're going to ask you the question. All right, let's say we're drawing, uh, let's say we're drawing blitzes in this playbook. You know, this could be our blitz package. You know, who do you want to view it? You know, do you want only the team owner or the team managers, the whole team? You know, maybe not. Maybe you don't want the quarterbacks and the offense. Like, don't don't boggle their brain with more than they need, right? Maybe only these team members. But you, and then once you get to that point, who do you want to be able to edit it? You know, who who do you want to be able just to see it? Who do you want to be able to edit? It? Now you can see where team groups right here. It's not populated very much because before, where I was showing you the team groups, if you'd want it went in and actually put in offensive line, tight ends, quarterbacks, all that type of thing, this is where it would show up right here. So you can dictate who can see what and who can edit what right here. All right, questions. Uh, that I know I've run my mouth a lot, but, uh, but I'm hoping that this will be helpful. And anybody that wants uh, a video of this, uh, please let us know. We will email you the video as well, the recording. Oh, guys, don't be shy. Let me know. I know you got questions. That's why we're doing this. Maybe you are shot. <laughs> Any questions on different types of subscriptions if you're not a, a user currently or payments, any of the technology or printing? All right. I must have did a heck of a job. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Um uh Rhett like, seems to have Coach Rhett raised his hand. Uh yeah, I would I would uh, like to be sent a copy of the recording if you don't mind. I will. Oops. Got it. You coach you down in Louisiana, right? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll get that to you. And once again, I, I meant what I said. You guys, that got on a little late. We we do a good job with customer service. I know everybody says that, but um, I mean, you're looking at a 30 year coach here, and and there's nothing more frustrating to, to have a question on the weekend and you're planning your crosstown rival, and and the, somebody says they're gonna come in on Monday. It's not the way our, our deals work. So, um, but no no questions. What is there anything anybody is looking at on here that says, hey, they don't have that, that would be cool, or that would be good. Anybody got any ideas? It's you know, we're coach driven here. We we listen to you. I'm not saying we might we might not get to it this year. And we might not, you know, there might be other things we got to put in front of it. But anything about this that y'all see how we could improve? Well, let us know as you get off of here, you know, if we, we take constructive advice put it that way Charlie, well, guys, got I'm gonna get one if you want to allow him to, to talk all right let me i think i've got it everybody allowed hold on okay does, does anybody else have does anybody have a question or a, a suggestion for us No All questions, right. but yeah, I'd appreciate it if you send out the a copy of the this video. It'd be great. Yeah, I tell you what we're gonna do, guys. We'll send it out to everybody. Anybody that's on here, um, we'll we'll get a, a deal and we'll send it out. Uh, if you're getting on here late, and um, that I understand that everybody. Be, the idea is not the idea is just to make sure that everybody um, gets their questions answered and can use this. It, it's guys, it's a heck of a tool. It really is. But it's like anything else. I said this earlier. You just got to spend a little bit of time in there 
And uh, I'll tell you just the same way I was told when I was a quality control coach at, in the NFL the first year. I got hired about this time of year, and the guy, the offense coordinator looked at me, and he said, um, by the time you get to training camp, and this is not going to be to this degree with your guys, but he said, by the time you get to training camp, either you're going to be on top of it or it's going to be on top of you. And if you're on top of it, you're going to sit in every offensive meeting, you're going to learn a lot of football, and you're going to have a heck of a you know great time coaching in the NFL. If it's on top of you, then you know you're going to have questions, you're going to be frustrated, and all that. So we tried, and and we're going to be there for you, whether it's September the 21st or or February the 21st. But you're going to do yourself a lot of favor if you favors if you go in there and get your playbook set up, get yourself organized, find out where everything is, get all your questions answered. Because once again, we're here for you. Anything else? Just wanted to confirm the phone number was 512-814-6158. I- That's it. And Kendall, if they, go, they go in the help section. That's probably in there somewhere, too. I know that the info address is right. Uh, yeah, we have a contact us page. If it's not on the help page, I'll, I'll make sure to add it. Thank you. It's in, info at firstdownapp.com. Just spell it out. I-N-F-O at firstdownapp.com. And then, it, you know, if you call us guys, we might not pick the phone up. I'm, I'm, you know, we don't pick the phone up on the second ring, everything, but we will call you back very quickly. And that, once again, that's Saturday and Sunday as well. Anything else, guys? All right, we're going to crank this back up next Tuesday at 8 o'clock again. Um, and then, and once again, we're, we're here if you need us. But I appreciate your time tonight. Y'all have a good night.